I told you the bitch out was gonna be shiny! Hey guys, how you going? Metal here. Today I have a full guide on the Dynamax Adventures in the Crown Tundra for you. Now I'm going to go through everything that you need to know, including rental Pokemon, shiny chances, and how to get shiny legendaries. Okay, first of all, the Dynamax Adventures are located right here at the very start of the Crown Tundra. When your adventure starts, you get three options for rental Pokemon that you can take. Now, once I take one of these, the two options will be there for someone else as well as a new option. One thing important to note is that these rental Pokemon cannot be shiny. Once the adventure starts, it's important to use the right joystick to have a look at the route that you can take before you get to the final legendary Pokemon. And you can look at what typings are coming up. You can also look at what items you might be able to get along the way, which I'll talk about a little bit later. You will have three raid battles and then you'll fight the legendary at the end of the raid battle. Now, all four of these Pokemon, you are able to get shiny. There is a one in 100 chance of getting a shiny if you have the shine charm. And if you don't have the charm, it's a one in 300 chance. So each of the three raids as well as the legendary have a one in 100 chance with a shiny charm. It is also important to note that everything has a 100% catch rate. So you can throw any ball that you want to and you're going to catch it. What I did was buy 999 Pokeballs before I started adventuring. Nice and cheap. Like your mom. Now I've just defeated the second raid now. So this one was a car call. So afterwards I can catch it. Keep in mind after every raid, you can choose whether you want to keep your Pokemon or swap it for the one that you just caught. Now keep in mind that generally you want to value type advantage over anything else, but your HP stays the same. So if you're on one HP and the Mon that you potentially could swap with might be an okay alternative, you might want to swap out so you don't lose a life and then you get a new Mon with full HP. It's also a good idea to make sure that you can communicate with your team so you know who's going to take it and who can't because only one person can take it. I have a rock type move here so I'm not going to take it and I'm going to save it for someone else because I'm fighting Ho-Oh at the end. So rock is awesome to use. As you make your way through the adventure, you're going to see there's a few events that can happen. So at uh, the rock and electric type here, there are some barriers at the end. There's a trainer on the right hand side and there's also a scientist down here which we can't get at the moment. Those three events all do something different. The berries will heal all Pokemon in your party and your friend's party 50%. Now, the professor will give you the chance to swap out a random Pokemon with the one that you're using. Generally, that's not a good idea because you don't get to choose. It's just completely random. And the trainer gives you a choice between five different items that you can choose. Now, the item that you choose stays with the Pokemon even if you swap it out for a new one or if your Pokemon faints. The only thing that's different is if it's a berry, you use it and then it's used up and then that's it. It's important to strategize and see where you need to get particular items. If you can get an item from a trainer early in the game, then you can use that throughout the whole raid. It's also a good idea to make sure that if your Pokemon are getting a little bit low after a tough battle, you want to try to get some berries to heal up. As you're going through the Dynamax adventure, it's important to count how many times you or your party's Pokemon faint. You get four lives throughout the entire adventure. So by the time all those four lives are taken, then your adventure stops and you can't go for the legendary anymore. If all your Pokemon faint before you get to the legendary or you faint during the legendary, everything that you caught up until then, you can still collect. And if they're shiny, you can still collect that shiny Pokemon too. Okay, I'm finishing up on my raid now and I'm able to catch this Ho-Oh. I'm just going to throw a regular Pokeball at it because remember it's 100% catch rate. When you get to the end, all the Pokemon that you've caught in the raid battle are going to be shown and you can check the summary of all of those Pokemon. Okay, here's my summary page now of all four Pokemon we caught. We started with Slowbro, then Carcol, then Colossal, then Ho-Oh. So I can check all of these and I can check if they're shiny. Before I check, what we need to keep in mind is that we can only take one Pokemon. So if there just happens to be more than one shiny, I have to choose between the two that I want. Now, it's really important that if this Ho-Oh is not shiny, that I do not take it because once you take it, you can only get it once and I can't try to go for this one again. Okay, moment of truth. What I like to do is to check the summary page and scroll down throughout them, which is good if there's a Pokemon where the shiny is very, very close to what the original Pokemon looks like. So what I'm looking for is the shiny, and there's also a little shiny icon as well um, next to the Pokeball in the bottom left corner and next to the name. So Slowbro is not, Karkol is not, Colossal is not, and Ho-Oh is not either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, and here on this page, I'm going to take click B to make sure that I don't take any of the Pokemon, and I'm going to go back to my adventure without taking any. You can take anything other than the legendary, and you can get multiple of them, and that's fine, but I don't need any of these, so I'm going to pass. At the end, you're also going to collect Dynite Ore. You get Dynite Ore for investigating the den, reaching the innermost area, which means defeating the boss. You also get extra ore if none of your party die and if you're playing with friends. So I always recommend playing with friends. I just played with the AI here. So you can get the most amount of Dynite Ore that you can. 
Now keep in mind, you could only save three legendary Pokemon. So I have Lugia, Ho-Oh, and Solgaleo here. If I choose anything is fine, what I can do is I can get a random one, and then at the end of that, I can choose to either overwrite one of these three, or not save any of them and keep the three that I've got saved. The Dinite Ore can be spent here at this person with the Sableye. You can exchange your Dinite Ore for lots of things, such as XP candy and Dynamax candy. And there are some expensive items as well, like Ability, Patch, Ability, Capsule, and Beast Balls. <laughs> Pro tip, don't spam A. If you're like me and you like to spam A to get through dialogue, it's a really bad idea to do that during Dynamax Adventures because there's no are you sure button. There's been multiple times where I have taken a Pokemon I didn't want to take, taken an item I didn't want to take. Even at the end one time, I've taken Moltres and I can't shiny hunt Moltres in Sword and Shield anymore because I've taken it and the game automatically saves afterwards. I was talking to chat during stream and I missed it and I messed up. There's not very many are you sure buttons. Be careful not to spam A, try to pay little bit of attention. Now as I said, playing with the AI can sometimes be a little bit more difficult and you get more Dynite Ore by playing with friends. Now I'm going to link in the description below something by the Reddit poster Shady Victor with a bunch of codes for legendaries that you want to use. Now I don't know how popular this is going to be, it had about 4,000 or so upvotes on Reddit so it might gain some traction but I'll link it in the description below if you want to have a bit of a look at that if there's a particular shiny legendary that you want to go for and you need some friends. Another option if you need some friends is to check me out at twitch.tv slash metalfear4 where I stream six days a week. There's always raids going on in chat with myself or even with other people in the chat, so you can always hang out there and get some friends. If this video was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't before. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs up.